Hi everyone, this is Anthony Rees from Chef. And today we're gonna to talk about continuous compliance. So continuous compliance is where we use both the Chef InSpec and the Chef Infra products together. And we use it in a pattern that we call Detect, Correct, Automate. Now Detect, Correct, Automate or DCA as we, as we refer to it, is really the pattern where we're using the Chef InSpec product to scan for compliance and audit across your infrastructure. And then we use the Chef Infra cookbooks to go and to remediate and to harden those environments. So let's take a look at what that, uh, at what that feels like when we go and run it in a live environment. So you can see my Chef Automate dashboard here. The Chef Automate dashboard gives us a lot of information in terms of event feeds. So uh, you can see some of the history here for the environment that I've created. And there's a number of uh, nodes, there's some Windows machines and some CentOS machines for today's demonstration. If we click on the compliance tab, the compliance tab is really centered around the Chef Inspec product. And Chef Inspec allows us to be able to audit and continuously test the compliance of not only your Windows and your Linux fleet, but also your cloud-based platforms. So we have the ability to be able to scan uh, AWS, GCP, uh, Azure, uh, as well as AliCloud as well, all using the Inspect product. And we have a number of out-of-the-box profiles. Uh, in fact, we have more than 400 profiles available. And most of them are uh, in line with industry's best practices, such as the Center for Internet Security, uh, and or DISA STIG. And these industry best practices, we take those, those particular recommended profiles and we turn them into a set of inspect code. And we're able to continuously run that against our platform. So I've got, uh, I've got six nodes here, but we've got four, uh, we've got four which, which are failing here. So we've got, some, we've got a CentOS machine and a Windows 2016 and a Windows 2019 machine. Let's take a look at the Windows 2016 machine to begin with. So you can see that it's failed uh, 210 controls and we've only run the CIS uh, level one benchmarks against this particular Windows machine. And InSpec will show us and report into the Chef Automate dashboard and will give us a, a look at all of the areas where we're failing. So you can see here that we've got lockout thresholds that are failing. Uh, password, minimum age and minimum length uh, failures that are there. And all of these are in line with the Center for Internet Security's uh, industry best practices and recommendations. And we're able to run that against our entire fleet. Now, likewise, we're able to do the same thing when we go and run against our CentOS machine as well. So whatever we do for Windows-based machines, we're also able to do for Linux-based machines. Um, as well as your containers as well. So we support Docker uh, and we can also run against your cloud uh, APIs as well. And you can see here all of the, fa of the failed controls uh, that we've got, which have come up. Now, of course, we can run that, those scans uh, at a frequency in line with your enterprise. So we can run them once a day, once a week, every 15 minutes, it's completely up to you. But the big difference here is not only can we show you uh, what is failing in terms of your audit and compliance in line with CIS and DISA-STIG benchmarks, but because it's code, you can also go and create your own. And it's human readable. So this is the source code here. Here's an example of, of the source code. Uh, this, is, this is InSpec. Um, it's an RSpec based language. So based on Ruby, it's, it's the Ruby, Ruby um, test-driven development. Uh, framework and effectively effectively we use a describe so we describe against um, a particular resource that we want to test against and then we uh, measure it against the value that we expect it to be using a set of matches and so the matches in this particular case is it should be equal okay it should equal zero in this particular case and inspect will discover whether it either passes or fails um, in line with the test that we've gone and run so as you can see, uh, we have a number of failures. Now, how do we go and fix those failures once Chef Inspect has identified those problems? Well, what we do is we're able to leverage the power of Chef Infra. 
Now, of course, Chef Infra has been around uh, for over 10 years now. It's a very mature product and it allows us to be able to do con configuration management on our platforms. Let's go and take a look at the, uh, at the Windows 2016 machine again. And you will see here that on the Chef Infra side, we've gone and we've run, um, in this particular case, we have run a number of cookbooks. So there's actually three cookbooks here, but this is the one which has performed the updates for us. It's the CIS Windows uh, 2016 hardening cookbook. And that hardening cookbook has gone and executed a number of resources. It's gone and executed a number of updates for me. And those app updates, many of them have gone and changed registry keys in this particular case. And it's set those registry, uh, it's, it's made those registry settings in line with the CIS uh, best practices, which will now make us go and pass our CIS inspect scans that we've done earlier. So effectively what, what we can do is we can, we can, because it's code, we're able to modify the inspect audit and compliance checks that we want to perform on our fleet. Now we can go and take Chef Infra cookbooks. And of course we can modify those as well because they're all code at the end of the day. And then we can run those against um, our environment uh, using policy. So we can, we can run it against all of our Windows 2016 machines or all of our Windows IIS machines or all of our CentOS machines or all of our Ubuntu uh, 1604 machines. And we can be very prescriptive um, in terms of which policy will apply to where and how we apply those policies. Now, once we've gone and hardened, like we have done here, so we've gone and hardened not only uh, our Windows machine, but we've also got we've also gone and hardened our CentOS machines as well. We'll then able then we'll then be able to go and rescan those machines. And when we rescan those those Windows and those CentOS machines, we now see that they're passing. Okay, so blue is the new green uh, in terms of passing, and Let's go and take a look at that 2016 machine again. And so you can see here that we're now passing our 312 controls, okay? And the reason why, of course, is because we've used Chef Infra to go and harden and to be able to, uh, to update those. There's also a really nice feature, uh, which a lot of our government and our banking customers really like, uh, which is called waivers. Now, waivers allow us to be able to uh, set a specific, uh, time variable in terms of how long we would like to apply a waiver for a particular uh, inspect audit and compliance scan. And as soon as that, uh, that waiver expires, so here's the date here, uh, I've been very liberal with this particular example and give them till uh, 2025 uh, to fix the problem. Uh, and we can also specify a reason too in terms of the waiver. Now, Inspec will ignore, because we have a waiver against this particular control, Inspec will ignore uh, that particular check and it will ignore it until the expiry date. After the expiry date, uh, Inspec will then hold that particular control accountable. Uh, it will check it and it will pass or fail it. And you'll see that in the dashboard. So that's a really quick overview in terms of Chef's ability to, do, to be able to do continuous compliance and audit on your environments uh, using both Chef Inspec and uh, Chef Infra to be able to harden and remediate those environments. I hope this was helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Chef APAC team and we'll be happy to help you. Take care.